Today we celebrate and dedicate the service to His Excellency the Right Honorable Prime Minister Manvulo Ambrose Bayadamin. Manvulo Ambrose Bayadamin. Seeing that we shall not be in attendance on the day of the memorial service, I felt it important this morning that together we find ourselves in the presence of the Lord. His Excellency led a remarkable life, a life that was without disrepute, a life without skeletons in the cupboard. One day Jesus calls Philip and said, Come, follow me. The Bible records that straight away Philip 
Pepe little Philip went and found Nathaniel. And said to him, I have found him whom Moses and the prophet spoke about. His name is Jesus. The son of Joseph of Nazareth. In John chapter number 1, verse 45. 145. Nathaniel answers Nathaniel and asks Philip and says, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said to Nathaniel, Come and see for yourself. Verse number 47. And they approached. Jesus said, Now here is a man. Here is the a man of complete integrity. Other versions say, a man without deceit. Jesus calls worship center. Please allow me this morning to say, here today a hero is gone. From amongst us a legend is gone. Allow me to say this morning, here today a son of the soil, a genuine is gone from amongst us. Say happy. A man of complete integrity. A man without deceit. I am not sure whether he was molded by his profession or he was molded by his accountancy because accountants by nature are made to be straightforward and honest people. He was an honest man. Even when it was not necessary he chose to be honest. He said to me one day, Go see the scripture says that the truth shall set us free. So let us just call this man and tell him as it is. Having grown with him in the Pentecostal assemblies of Africa, we were Christians for real. We were in the league of the brotherhood. We are among those that were called the brothers. Because they thought we were extremists in preserving holiness. I remember when he returned from South Africa. He came to me and said, We have decided to come back home. Though it's a dip in our salaries, but my wife and I have felt it's time to return home. And we have reported to the apostle that we shall be committing fully to Jesus calls Jesus calls worship He then said to me, I thank you and Pastor Malas for standing alongside the men of God and believing in the vision such that we have come back to find the vision alive. When he came back, he worked for NetBank as a senior manager, serving as an usher in the church. It was at that time that the Lord provided us with this beautiful land that we have built our church upon. And the bishop pushed us to secure this land and put friends around about it. Not long ago, on November the 1st, November during the Founders Day, His Excellency reflected. He reflected on the day we were fencing. It was a historic moment for us. As we were digging around the church, His Excellency being part of those that were digging the ground for this church. Suddenly, students from the Voktim and University came passing by. And they said to us, we must be serious speaking amongst themselves. We must be serious with our studies because you see what is the outcome of those that are without education. Not knowing that amongst us we were people who were doing their second degrees. But Pastor Felix, Pastor Ansego, Pastor Dr. Mashua, Mashua. Baba Samuels and Dr. Baba Tami, Samuels. we were a number of us that were digging the 
God, including His Excellency. I draw much attention to this matter because in His last days, He spoke to me much more fondly about this matter, asking me where are young people, where are members who are still committed as we were when Jesus called started. And I leave this challenge to you, church, as we commemorate the legacy of a man in this house. As we send him out, I leave this challenge to you to take up the challenge of commitment to the Lord that you may lead your life in an exemplary fashion. My prayer this morning is that from a man Many may take up the spirit of commitment and selfless love for God and give all to serve him. It was not long after we erected the fence that the bishop, apostle then, called for a sacrificial offering. I remember I was doing that sacrificial offering that His Excellency and family gave their only car that they used to come to church. It was a green Honda Palade. When they left church, the car remained in church. And it was sold to construct this structure. I don't know what they used living from here. It was such a day July 20, July 20, when our lives were torn apart, when we separated from that which meant much in us, a sacrificial offering was called. It was not long after the sacrificial offering that he rose to the position of the first Liswati MD of NetBank in the country. And we were all inspired to believe God for greater things. Through him, we saw the love and commitment of God to his promises. May I hasten to say why is he was serving as MD at the bank he continued to serve as an usher in the church. An MD of a bank ushering people in the church. His Excellency then God appointed as MD of MTN where he served until he was appointed as our Prime Minister of his country. He has served their majesties and the nation very well. And his achievements are bare for all to see. Brothers and sisters, we stand at a loss of words to describe what the Lord has done. Jesus says in the book of John chapter number 12, 12 verse number 24, verse 24, I tell you the truth, unless a seed of wheat is planted into the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kennels. A plentiful harvest of new life. I tell you the truth. Unless a seed of wheat is planted into the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kennels, will produce many new seeds, a plentiful harvest of new life. We believe this morning that this seed of His Excellency Ambrose Mantulos Batami that has fallen to the ground shall produce a plentiful harvest of new life. God speaks to Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse number 18. He says, Yet I have reserved 7,000 in Israel. All whose knees have not bowed down to Baal and whose mouths have not kissed Baal. Yes, I have preserved 7,000 in Israel. 7, 
all whose knees have not bowed down and whose mouth have not kissed bowed. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, that there is a seed. There is a harvest that is being reaped at this moment. As we are passing through this season, if I was the Pope, I would once again restore the honor of sainthood to Ambrose Lamini of Nsanthen following after the man who made the name famous Saint Ambrose of Milan Saint Ambrose Milan. he made a remarkable statement one day I called these words for you to cherish and keep in your hearts as we pass through the season he says let us not criticize in Holy Scripture something which we cannot comprehend. He said, let us not criticize in Holy Scriptures something which we cannot comprehend. Brothers and sisters, God is with us. Yes.
Hosanna unto you. We are coming as a nation and we say, Hosanna, King of glory. For there is none like you, King of kings. We bow ourselves before your throne. As a nation, my God, we are asking for healing over this entire nation. We are speaking the healing of God upon this kingdom. We are speaking the comfort of Jehovah upon this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, my God, a closure upon the hearts of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare upon the Jesus called family, my God and my King, upon the children of this house. We are releasing the healing of God. We are releasing the comfort of God. We are releasing the warmth of God. We are releasing the power of the Holy Ghost. Even this morning, oh God, upon Margaret to me, upon the three girls, upon the families, we are declaring the healing. nation at the palm of your hand. It is in your palm. It is in your palm. It is not in the devil's hand. For you have a wonderful plan about the kingdom of a swati. And the plans that you have are not to harm us as a kingdom of a swati. They are not to kill us as a but the plans that you have are to give us a hope and to give us an expected and to give us a better future. My God, we trust you. Even this morning, we release healing. May your peace be upon your people. May your peace be upon your nation. May your peace be upon their majesties. May your peace be upon the royal family. May your peace be upon the government. All the arms of government. We are speaking harsh be still. Harsh peace be still. In the name of Jesus. And now, Father, I declare your blessing over these, your people. May your Lord bless them. May your Lord keep them. May your Lord cause your countenance to rise upon their life. May your Father be gracious upon them. May your face shine upon their lives. Like the sun rising from the rise. With favor and peace. Let them live and not die. And declare the works of Jehovah God in the land of the living. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Amen. Amen.